Hello everyone, this is Fyro, Mahmoudi Akas, let's learn. Today we will talk about invariant center Lorentz transformation. Ke mein. This is the seventh part of the special activity series. Uh, for other video, I uh, link description in the description, you can check there. Now let's begin. Invariance of x square plus y square plus z square equals to c square t square. First of all, we will prove that this is an invariant hoti hai under Lorentz transformation. So, to prove this result, let us consider that we have two frames of reference hai, S and S prime. And S prime as usual move kar rahi hai with respect to S with some velocity v. Suppose a light beam which is uh, coordinate mein propagate kar rahi hai, uh, along the direction of x coordinate. So, this light beam ke liye, agar hum, uh, coordinates likhe, then it will be x, y, z, t and x prime, y prime, z prime, t prime. Ab, as we know ki, uh, jo frame of reference hai, jo first frame of reference hai, wo bhi velocity se move kar with respect to the frame s. So, using uh, Lorentz transformation equation, hume ye prove karna hai ke x square plus y square plus z square minus c square t square is exactly equals to x prime square plus y prime square plus z prime square minus c square t prime square. And I tell you, x square, y square, z square or t square jo hai wo s frame of reference mein us particle us light beam ki coordinates ko batata hai aur jo x prime square plus y prime square plus z prime square or t prime square hai ye uh, s prime frame mein is coordinates ko express karti hai. Now, इस चीज को प्रूव करने के लिए हमें यूज करना होगा लॉरेंज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन तो लॉरेंज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन की दो इंपॉर्टेंट इक्वेशन हम यहां कंसीडर करेंगे द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इज x दैट इक्वल्स टू x प्राइम माइनस vt ओवर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ 1 माइनस v स्क्वायर ओवर c स्क्वायर जैसा हमने रिलेटिविटी uh, के अदर पार्ट्स में डिस्कस किया है लॉरेंज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन में डिस्कस किया है कि जो Transformation of x है उसी form में होता है that is x prime is the coordinate of x in the other uh, frame of reference और x जो है वो measurement coordinate in frame of references now जैसा हमें बता है we can also transform the time in the same manner where t equals to t prime minus v x prime over c square by square root of 1 minus v square by c square now in दोनों equation को if we put the value uh, in, in t prime square and x prime square because we know that there is no important transformation of y and z because we have assumed that the light beam is x coordinate mein hai, hai na? so the coordinate of light beam in y is actually negligible so y equals to y prime we consider karenge without any transformation and in the similar way we can consider z equals to z prime now after putting the value of x prime and t prime in the previous equation we will get x prime square plus y prime square plus z prime square minus c square t prime square that equals to x minus v t whole square by 1 minus v square by c square plus y square plus z square minus c square and in the bracket we have t minus x v over c square in the whole square divided by 1 minus v square by c square then if we simplify it further, then we will get 1 by uh, 1 minus v square by c square in the bracket. We have x square plus v square t square plus 2xvt plus y square plus z square minus c square t square plus x square v square over c to the power 4 plus 2txv. And further, we may get 1 over 1 minus v square by c square and in the bracket we have x square plus v square t square minus 2xvt minus c square t square minus x square v square over c square plus 2txv in the bracket plus y square plus z square. And further we get 1 over 1 minus v square by c square and in the bracket x square in the bracket 1 minus v square by c square minus c square t square and in the bracket and further 1 minus v square by c square plus x square plus z square. So x square minus c square t square plus y square plus z square 
इज देयर ठीक है हमने इन सबको सिंप्लीफाई कर दिया एज यू नो वन माइनस वी स्क्वायर बाई वाई वन माइनस वी स्क्वायर दोनों टर्म्स में कॉमन है सो यू कैन सिंपली डिवाइड बोथ ऑफ द टर्म एंड यू विल गेट द रिजल्ट एट फाइनल एज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर टी स्क्वायर सो नाउ वी मे इजली स्टेट दैट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर टी स्क्वायर इज एक्चुअली इन वेरियंट अंडर लॉरेंस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बिकॉज जैसा हमने देखा कि इस इक्वेशन की वैल्यू टोटली इन वेरियंट है हमने एक्स प्राइम वैल्यूज को एक्स की वैल्यू में मीन्स एस कोऑर्डिनेट के हर को वैल्यूज में ट्रांसफॉर्म किया सो दिस इज द प्रॉपर इन वैलियंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लॉरेंस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन now in further we have to prove the invariance of e square minus p square c square that equals to m square c to the power 4 yeah e energy ko represent kar raha hai p is the momentum c is speed of light and m is the mass of the body where c is the speed of light again so to prove this result again hame ye uh, lorentz transformation consider karna hoga because this is totally related with the energy and momentum of the particle so let us consider the first expression jise hame prove karna hai that e square minus p square c square that equals to e prime square minus p prime square c square so p is the momentum in the frame of reference s e is the energy in the frame of reference s and e prime is the energy in a frame of reference s prime and p prime is the momentum in the frame of reference s prime so now If we use the transformation equation, जैसे हम transformation करते हैं space और time का under Lorentz equation, in the similar way we can transform the energy and momentum uh, under Lorentz uh, transformation. So इसके according we can place the energy and momentum under Lorentz transformation as e prime that equals e minus p v over one minus v square by c square. and in further for momentum we may write p prime that equals to p minus ev over c square uh, over 1 minus v square over c square so the next step is to just consider this expression for e and p and replace it in the previous equation so i'm going to replace kya and after that we'll get e prime square minus p prime square c square that equals to e square plus p square v square minus 2 e p v minus p square plus e square v square over c to the power 4 minus 2 p e v over c square and the whole c square so it is divided over 1 minus v square by c square so now after simplification we'll get e square plus p square v square minus 2 e p v minus p square c square plus e square v square over c square minus 2 p e v over 1 minus v square over c square and further hum ise aur bhi simplify kar sakte hain after that we'll get e square in the bracket 1 minus v square over c square minus p square c square in the bracket 1 minus v square over c square over 1 minus v square over c square so it is evident ki ye form of equation exactly similar hai of x and t transformation so if we reduce it further we'll get e square minus p square c square so interestingly humne jo pehle consideration liya tha in different frame of reference wo is frame of reference ke sath bhi similar hai so we can easily write that e square minus p square c square is actually invariant under lorentz transformation because energy or momentum ki jo values hain wo actually uh, इन वैरियंट है बिकॉज हमने ई प्राइम मीन्स एनर्जी की वैल्यू जो एस प्राइम फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस में थी उसे हमने ट्रांसफॉर्म किया इन अदर वे एंड विल गेट द सेम रिजल्ट सो दिस इज द जनरल बिहेवियर ऑफ इन वैरियंट लॉरेंस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट इन वैरियंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इन द लॉरेंस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इफ यू वेन इक्वायर इन दिस टॉपिक और द क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क इन द कमेंट बॉक्स Uh, मैं आंसर करने की कोशिश करूंगा एज सुन एज पॉसिबल इफ दिस वीडियो रियली हेल्प यू सो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड ऑल्सो 
press the bell icon stay safe stay curious